Welcome back to another Scrap and Irish video and I was hoping this video this week would have been um, sorting out that powder that I have from the ram chips and using the gravity and water method to do it but unfortunately the weather has been against me uh, for the last two weeks plus I'm trying to tell you there is good weather I'm trying to get out and do a bit of work on the new shed I'm building as you would have seen from the short videos um, but um, so I've decided to scrap out a PC that's been lying around for a while. Um, it's a Windows XP model and it's made by... I've taken off the cover because it saved time. Um, Packard Bell, uh, Windows XP and no longer working. Um, and I've decided to um, scrap it out. So I haven't done one of these in ages. Scrapped out video uh, on a PC. This in here, there seems to be a graphics card, or maybe it's a sound card. We'll have a look when we get it out. Um, I don't know what sort of um, Intel chip is in there. Uh, I presume it's Intel uh, that's in it. And um, still got its hard drive down here. Got its um, optical drives. And um, even got a good old floppy by the looks of it. Um, so floppy, and then a CD drive, and a second CD drive so uh, one that might be blu-ray or something like that we'll have a look and see or it might be a CD rewriter actually is in there so what I'm gonna do first we're gonna take off all the screws so um, yeah we'll take off the screws I think remove the cables stuff like that so I might speed it up while I'm doing it and um, we'll come back once it's done Okay, so um, I just sped that up a little bit. Just took out the screws from here. Um, I've taken out the good old um, sucker sticks uh, to the novice uh, scrappers among us, ram sticks. But um, being around my channel for a while, you know these have got a new name. So the old, the old Irish sucker sticks. Um, and if you don't know why, well then you must be new to my channel and you need to catch up on some of the videos. So, taking out this um, connector cables that go between the hard drives and the RAM, or the hard drives and the board. And we've disconnected some of the cabling uh, that's going in this side. Um, and it's nearly time to start unscrewing the boards, I suppose. Um, might turn this off if we can. Um, oh, I said Intel in this. I was wrong. AMD in it. So, um, we're going to leave the front cover here. So again, just plastic, nothing in it. Um, do these just click out? Sometimes these just click out. There we go. So, what I'm going to do, rather than mess about, oh, I was going to say rather mess about trying to pull that through and then it comes through, so a little bit of cabling um, might as well remove these here while I'm at it so the USBs again a little bit of gold in the USB connectors in here I do go after it of course um, a bit like Ian Matthews and when he goes after the little bits of brass um, that we all say we take the mickey out of them but we all have our own thing that we go after and um his is the ra his is the um brass i go after all these little bits of gold so i'm just going to snip that off here and there okay so again is you can see in there a little bit of gold flashing very poor quality plus a lot of dirt in there 
Um, so now we're two on this. Um, I might as well take out the power supply. I think next that'll give me a bit of room to work on. Maybe we could just remove the um, CPU from it. Um, decisions, decisions, or even better still, we can just remove the card and see what type of card it is. So, uh, VGA card, because we have our VGA connector on it. So, a video card. Um, I'm gonna remove these screws, that's screw from here, don't know. That should hopefully remove the back plate. And let me take out the card. Uh -huh. and you can see when we remove that, we have our little holder for the card. There we go. Uh, a little card again. We'll chop off them little gold um, fingers. We'll take off the chips, the RAM chips that's on it. Um, and we'll um, recover the gold from that eventually, get that. Again, I will take off the crystal oscillators and I doubt that's a um, gold finger or gold corner VGA under it, but we'll have a look. Might be lucky. Yes, we are lucky. So there we go. We have our gold corner BGA as well. So win win on that one. And of course, a little bit of uh, aluminium, clean aluminium. Um, again, we can see in the board here that we have another gold corner BGA down there, which is nice. That probably won't be underneath there. Cabling. I can try and remove some of this stuff. Yeah, this is going to have to come out so I can slide that way. So I'm going to do that off camera. No point doing that on camera. I'm just going to take off the screws from here, take out that, and we'll be ready to go. So come back when that's done. Okay, so we have removed the um, power supply, which is now sitting here at the moment. Um, also, I pulled out the floppy drive. So again, we'll have some gold pin connectors along here. Um, I might as well take out some of these other drives. So again, we have gold connectors. We'll strip these down, but not on this video. So that was a DVD-ROM that was on that one. And we had uh, DVD rewriter on this one. So again, gold connecting pins on here. So we'll might do a video at some stage on them again uh, for any new people to my channel. So we we'll just it's a waste of time. I'm just going to cut that because we'll be taking out the hard drive soon enough. I left over there again um, I think it was shark scrapper done a video on stripping them out whether it was worth it or not which is a good to check out guys so again, I'll probably strip it out because I'm a hobbyist but for you guys who want to make money and make it quicker on them and uh, maybe you should check out that video from shark scrapper right we're going to remove the screws from this and take out the board so we can get a closer look at it
there's always some screws somewhere in this and it's just a matter of finding them all okay. Here we have another, oh sorry you can't see that, we have another card here that I missed, so we need to just remove that card as well. Okay, so this was our little um, internet connector uh, for um, modem so there we go a little bit of gold a little bonus a little bit of gold on that um, and have we any more one more screw up here and that should hopefully let me take out the board and we get a quick look at the board and see what sort of chip CPU is running it. Uh, it would have been a Windows XP. I'm not expecting a great chipset on it, but um, might be some nice gold on it. It'd be nice if it was an older. So I'm going to remove that and we'll come back once I've that removed and we'll have a look. Okay, so we have removed the um, heatsink from it. So it's one of those with the copper uh, in the middle of it. And if you go and look at e-waste mic and I think uh, Shark done one. Now Shark had a bit more, he done try a couple of different methods on doing it. But e-waste mic had the one that um, seems to do the quickest. So go check out them videos and you'll see how to remove that copper from the center of the, um, the heat sink. Now, again, we have our, our um, CPU. So we'll have a look at it. AMD. So there we go, a nice little fiber. Uh, CPU, some nice gold plated pins, and um, put in with the rest of my gold plated pins, uh, CPUs to be looked at at a later date. And again, underneath here, we'll try and cut these little tabs off, and that should hopefully reveal. Another gold corner PGA and a nice bit of aluminium is again. So there we go. And then we have a little bit of aluminium here, more aluminium here. So not too shabby at all. So we got two gold corner BGAs on this board. We have our um connectors which have gold plated pins in there all along here. And again, uh we've some down here. We have some MLCCs, do we? Uh don't see too many actually. On the underside, pretty basic board on the underside. Um, yeah, so aluminium, gold corner BGAs, with this cupboard up here, some IC chips, a um, couple of other IC chips over here. So not too, sh not too bad of a board. Um, again, you guys that sell these boards to board sort, have your pricing on them. So you most times do will not take anything off. Now e waste might be odd time might remove some gold corner VGAs here and there. Say nothing Mike. And um but other than that, we have uh, not much more left, only the hard drive. So again, we just remove the, the hard drive from this PC and that will be it. The, We have a job complete. That's our hard drive, and uh, let's see if we can see what are we looking for storage wise. 80 gig, so 80 gig storage on a Samsung hard drive. Um, 
gold corner uh, gold uh, plated chips or gold plated pins some ic chips uh, so then boards will be taken off and uh, again people send the board sort have your own prices for that i strip everything down and try and go after the gold myself so what do we end up with out of it well we got the board with the gold corner bgas and the gold pins on it uh, some aluminium from it we got our little uh, modem uh, with the um, gold fingers we have two sticks of ram or irish sucker sticks we have our hard drive with the board of course and we've got some other drives that we need to take apart a lot of cabling um, on it again uh, these can be gold plated uh, connectors in there so i've done videos on them before we have the cpu and we have the graphics card wherever i threw that um, which seems to have disappeared completely from around me but i'm sure it's here somewhere if i look hard enough here we go so there's our uh, graphics card um, now also on my last video i showed this in a, in a little short and um, people were saying it looked pretty cool so i said i'd give it a little closer look to it and see what you think of it so it opens here got it from good old timu uh bought it myself wasn't giving it free or anything like that not endorsing it but it's a handy little set um i do like it um all the little fittings i'm going to need uh screwdrivers um some long screwdrivers some uh, i use these for prying stuff apart um so getting into longer areas stuff like that and the good thing about it it just rolls up like that um now if you haven't bought from timu before i think there's great deals on them um but if you have bought before i think they're around 20 20 quid so um might be worth an investment if someone's looking for some nice handy uh, tools for taking stuff apart so guys thanks for watching the video really appreciate it and um as always please give a thumbs up and um if you haven't, if you're new to my channel, why not subscribe or maybe check out some of my other videos and hopefully we will get back onto the sorting out that um, ground down um, RAM chips uh, that we've done from incineration in the next couple of weeks and um, we'll see what other videos are on the way. At the moment, the weather's bad, can't get outside, working on the shed whenever it is good. So um, not sure will videos be every two weeks or what's happening at the moment, but we'll see what happens. So as always, thanks for watching and um, catch you on the next one.